it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here today with an assortment of Aquaria openings that you cannot see quite yet. Let me reveal them real quick. We have three pre-release kits and one more collector booster box. These are for Scott H. from Alabama. Thank you so much, Scott, for letting me do another personal break of Aquaria for you. I hope you enjoy it. And before we get started, I just want to give a quick update. I had said previously that we weren't sure if we were going to be getting any more pre-release kits or not, but my boss has been able to secure some more. So when we do get those back in stock, we will update the website with more of them available for more personal breaks. If you're interested in learning about how you can get a personal break, what that means, all of that, the link at the top of the description down below will give you all that information that you need but i'm excited to get into it because we have really good we have had really awesome luck with pre-release kits here on the channel and i love checking out all the different cool foils and extended arts in the collector booster so i'm excited i'm going to actually start with the collector booster so if you're here just for a collector booster opening it's right up front for you if you just want to see the pre-release kits probably skip a little bit farther into the video but i will try to make everything as enjoyable as possible so we're gonna be starting with this one collector booster and before I forget we have to quickly Snap me into the corner so that way you get full screen view of all these Ikoria cards. And I feel like it has been a little bit since I opened Ikoria. I mean, obviously, I just opened it a lot of last week, but still, I love checking out Magic product. I'm excited that we're getting so many personal breaks for Magic this time around. The channel first started when Theros came out, so we are Theros Beyond Death, not original Theros, otherwise we've been around for a long time. But we haven't been here that long, and I'm excited that we have so many viewers and commenters and whatnot. But... I have to make enough room because I like putting everything in all the piles right here on top of this very beautiful Nyx Lotus playmat. We were getting the Aquaria playmats in, but I don't think we've gotten them yet. I don't know if they're just delayed or something happened with our order. But anyway, that's not what you guys are here for. You guys are here for seeing me open up some collector booster packs. So let's get right into pack number one that just fell. Let's check this out. And I'm not sure when this video will be up. I'm sure it's going to be a bit longer because there are so many items to open up. But we did get in just two boxes for now. We may be getting some more in maybe like tomorrow depending on our, um, our other distributor. But we did get in two boxes of the brand new Panini Mosaic Basketball. Those are hobby boxes and they are on our website as of when, when I'm recording this at 11 11 a.m. Available for personal breaks. And we're having them actually all live breaks because it is more of an expensive product. So people will be more interested in seeing that live. But we do have that on our website. They are going to go quickly. So by this time the video has been processed and uploaded, it may already be gone. But I just wanted to mention it just in case anyone was curious about the new basketball product. I did leave a little message about that in our community tab. I'm trying to get used to the community tab because it's cool. You can post links, you can post pictures, you can post polls. So it's a very good way for me to like communicate with all of you. So hopefully if you're, I'm not sure if you could see it if you aren't subscribed, but it'd be great if you could go check that out every once in a while. Sawtusk Demolisher and a Lutri the Spell Chaser. If you could go check that out just every once in a while, see if there's any news or updates for you there. Oh, we have another extended art Rogren Trium. Well, an not another Rogren Trium, but another Trium in general. Now we have Anguiru's Armored Killer. Thank you to the commenter who uh, let me know how to pronounce this card, because I was struggling with this one quite a bit. I was like, I, I can't figure it out, but they said Anguiru's, so at least I think they did. It has been a couple days since I saw that comment. But that is what I'm going with. Ooh, very nice. So I do need to scoot this pile over. We have a... Okay, now we do have another Rogrin Trium. Two Rogrin Triumphs, extended art, one foil, one non-foil in the same pack. Very, very cool. I just love the way these Triumphs, the, uh, the extended art ones look. Oh, they're so pretty. Or showcase, rather. I keep getting all the different terminology mixed up. Because they are extended art, because they are full art cards. So you could call them full arts, you can call them extended arts, you can call them showcase. You can call them alternate art because they are also an alternate art version from the regular card. There's so many different variants nowadays, especially with the addition of collector boosters. Extinction event. We have an Everquill Phoenix. Volpkeet. Dreamtail Heron. Another Everquill Phoenix. Godzilla Primeval Champion. And Huntmaster Liger. The 
Is this a card? No, I think I just blanked out when we were scrolling past one of them. Cutting Nightbonder, that is a nice uncommon to get in foil. Titan Hunter, Whirlwind of Thought. We have our first foil extended art. We have Genesis Ultimatum. That is a very pretty card. I love all the arts on the ultimatums. I think I need a little more space here. Huntmaster Liger, Vulpakeet. We have an Illina, Apex of Wishes. Then we have, as I was recommended by a comment, I will call it uh, Space Godzilla Death Candy Cane from now on. <laughs> Just to get away from saying this up here. Because I know for a while YouTube had been blocking channels that would say the word, so I would rather just not risk it. I think that problem might not exist anymore, but I'd rather not risk it because it is a small channel. I mean, if I, we were a bigger channel, we could have more ability to say, hey, it's, we're not talking about that, we're reading the name of a card, but YouTube might not care because it's like, yeah, 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 we don't have time for you, you are a small channel. Still, it looks like the pattern has continued in this box. It is hard to see on camera. They look fine on camera, but if I hold them like this, that's not just they're blurry, they actually, the commons versus the uncommons. The commons look like they're a little bit faded. The foil commons, the foil uncommons look perfectly fine, but I'm not sure if that's all the collector boosters, if they're like that, or just all the ones that we've opened so far. But the uncommons have been... Look at this card, not banned in modern. Just like I thought. <laughs> it is me. Haha, <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> but it seems like the commons have been not the best quality control on those. We have a Savai Trium and a King Caesar, Ancient Guardian, and Pouncing Shore Shark. I say I was right on this one because there was a video last week I was talking about it where I know a lot of people were speculating to get banned. And I think perhaps if the set had come out when it was initially supposed to, then it would have gotten banned in modern. However, they're not going to ban one of the bigger like cards that people would want to buy out of the set three days after the set comes out. And that was my reasoning for it not getting banned. I said maybe it'll get banned in Legacy, which it did. But I didn't think it would get banned in everything like some people thought it did. And it didn't. So that's my little my little magic victory there. We have Gem Razor, Foil Rare here. War Dragons, Migratory Great Horn. We have a Narset of the Ancient Way, that is our second Showcase Mythic, very cool. First one was Illina, a little bit earlier. We have Godzilla, Doom Inevitable. And Lord Dracus, once again, two Lord Dracuses. Lord Dracai? Anyway, two of the Lord Dracus card in that pack. It was cooler when it was both Rogger and Triumphs, but that is a cool art on the Lord Dracus anyways. Agitator Ant, Zerda the Dawn Waker, Haunted Nightmare. We have another showcase mythic, Vivian Monsters Advocate, Baby Godzilla Ruin Reborn, then Insatiable Hemophage. This pack, the corner, gave out while I was trying to open it, and there was almost a spillage of cards here, which would not have been good. We have, ooh, a swamp. <laughs> I started speaking one card too early, but we have Decoy Gambit, Umori the Collector, Giganta the Wellspring, Gem Razor, Dorat the Perfect Pet, Foil, and Migratory Great Horn. Slippery Bog Bonder, Death's Oasis, Mythos of Nethroi, Cup Warden, King Caesar Awoken Titan, Migratory Great Horn Foil, once again. Catbird Token, which is very cute but also a bit concerning how that was created. You just blame it on the Simic, I guess, rather than actually wanting to think about that. Have a Frontier Warmonger, Inspired Ultimatum, Titan's Nest, 
And we've only gotten one foil extended art, and there's only two packs left in this collector booster. That is a bit concerning. We have a Ketria Triome, and another King Caesar, Ancient Guardian, Ancient Harvester. How many different Triomes have we gotten so far? I'm curious. I know I should be saving this for a recap, but we have the Ketria, Savai, Rogrin, and Zogoth. So we're just missing the Endotha Triome to have all five Triomes in the moon collector booster. Selective Adaptation, we have Emergent Ultimatum, we have a second foil Genesis Ultimatum. So the next pack should definitely have a foil extended art as well, we've already gotten our duplicate. Now we have Nethroy, Apex of Death, that is our fourth Showcase Mythic, Destroya, Perfect Life Form, Foil, and Auspicious Sterex. Last pack for this Collector Booster and then we will be doing a recap and moving on to our three previous kits for Scott. Let's see. Let's hope this pack has something fantastic in it. That would be wonderful. I like this lizard a lot. I would want to own one of those as a pet. Hopefully. I mean, it looks like it would be huge, but I would like a small one. <laughs> that would be super cute. We have an island. Nesting grounds. General Kudro of Draneth. And a voracious great shark is our third and final foil extended art from this collector booster box. And we got our fifth Triome. We have Indotha Triome. So we had the full set of Triomes out of this Collector Booster. We have, ooh, that's cool. Very nice. Fortunately, unfortunately, it's not foil, but still awesome. We have Ghidorah, King of the Cosmos. And Necropanther. Let me move this box out of the way. And straighten up some piles. And then I will do a recap of our extended arts, foil rares, foil mythics, alternate art rares and mythics. And then our Godzilla Kaiju variants. We only got the one foil extended art or showcase alternate art, regular rare, non extended art. Only one of those. Sometimes we get two, sometimes we just get one. But let's start with our extended arts. We have General Kudro, Merging Ultimatum, Inspired Ultimatum, Death's Oasis, Umori, Zerda, Slither Wisp, Lurus, Whirlwind of Thought, Extinction Event. Lutri and the Ozolith. For foils, as we just saw in the last couple packs, we did get two Genesis Ultimatums and one Voracious Great Shark. These look really cool in the lighting, you guys. The Genesis Ultimatum, it, it gets kind of like the way the light shines right in the middle, makes it look not as the best it can, but this one looks super cool in the lighting. For our four rares, I'll just show them, I won't read them. And then we just did get the one regular foil mythic in Narset of the Ancient Way, which I still think has a really awesome art on it for our showcases. One mythic, two, three, and four mythics. We had four mythics in all five triumphs here. This one is still my favorite art on the triumphs. To get the one foil showcase Rogrin triumph. For our Kaijus, we did get the Ghidorah, which is super cool. That, I know, has spiked recently. Remember in the first box that I opened on the channel, in our case opening? First, the first, look, we have Death, Death Candy Cane here. And we lose. In our first uh, box, the like actual first booster box, that was the box stopper. I got a full Ghidorah, and I was like, oh, this is cool. I wasn't even aware of how good of a card that was at the time. I mean, all these Kaijus look super cool, but the prices can really vary. Especially, I know these two are pretty cheap. Not sure on these, but I know these two are pretty cheap. I'm still thinking I might collect all of them at one point, but not sure. Anyway, let me just go through and stack all this up real quick. Then we will get right into our pre-release kits. And like I said at the beginning of the video, my boss was able to get some more. I'm not sure when they will be coming in, but when they do, the website will be replenished with stock because it's super fun to open them up. And, you know, it doesn't take a lot of time. It's cool. You get to open six packs and get to see what the promo is. So that's super fun. But let's start with kit number one here. I just realized my shirt looks pretty weird on camera. 
with the stripes. It didn't look that bad in the the big the big screen like like this here. It didn't look bad here, but shrunken. It looks like I don't know if you'll remember. I'm not sure what the average age of the person who watched this channel, but like in old uh, like composition notebooks in school and whatnot, you'd have the ones with like the kind of the plastic cover that would you'd move it and it would look like the colors would change. But if you just had it at a weird angle, it just kind of looked like this. <laughs> but that that's what my shirt reminds me of on the camera right now. But let's get into pre-release kit number one, and these should go a bit faster just because they are smaller. And we do have the green dye to start. Be interesting to see what colors we get. That I do I have seen one of each color in the color pie now. Well, we have Mythos of Brocos for our stamp promo. See, because the set just came out last week, it was originally supposed to come out mid-April, which is why I was like, may maybe there'd be an argument for banning Lurus if that's when the set had come out. But the set's been out for three days, you're not gonna ban one of the higher selling cards. You know, that was pretty cheap because people expected to be banned. It was only ten bucks. I don't know what it's at now. But we were selling them like it was like crazy here. Because we do have a TCG player store account. None of these singles will go on there, because of course, like I said, this is a personal break for Scott from Alabama. So all these cards are getting shipped out to Scott later today. But we do have still singles available from our case opening and other openings we had for the shop on our TCG player store, which is in the description down below. Although someone did buy us out of all of our extinction events. So we are currently sold out of extinction event. That is our first rare for this first pack. So what kind of deck would we build here with Extinction Event and Mythos of Brokos? I mean, I know that's not always how you are supposed to build pre-release decks. That's usually what I go with. I find my best rares and make sure I have a decent selection of common uncommons to match. And then I go with that, which usually isn't... Uh, I don't... I usually go two and two in pre-release events. So I kind of know what I'm doing, kind of don't. But hey, I still have fun every time. We had two black cards, one of which is a Gilgari card, and our promo is green, so maybe we'd be doing a black green deck here. Looks like we have a foil here. We have a Winota. I feel like we keep getting Winotas out of the pre-release kits. I mean, I'm not going to complain. She's a cool mythic. Just odd. Ruinous Ultimatum. Foil rare. Very cool. Look, we got black, red, and white here, so we're getting some, getting some options. Vulpkeet. And Genesis Ultimatum. Oop, we have, it looks like a Triome in the back here. Showcase Triumph. It is a Rogrin Triumph. Very cool. Very nice. This is the last pack of kit number one of three. Have a Huntmaster Liger. And a Garuda Doom of Depths for our last rare here. I'm going to keep this out, keep piling stuff on, and I will do a recap of the kits at the end. So let me grab kit number two. That's what they're called. They're called on the on the uh, like notebooks and composition books like I was mentioning earlier. They're called lenticular. My shirt looks like it's lenticular. They make cards like that too for like... Sometimes for Star Wars, not as much anymore, but a lot of well, they have lenticular cards in Marvel sets too. We have two green dye here. And for our next promo, it is Genesis Ultimatum. This card has been haunting us today. Hopefully, you like this card, Scott, because you have a lot of them now. You have extended arts, you have extended art foils, you have stamped promos. All the ultimatums are coming for you. Let's get into kit number two, pack number one. Predictable Cyclone.
We have Ilna, Apex of Wishes. That's cool. Looks like we're getting about one Mythic per pre-release kit, which is definitely pretty nice. One Mythic out of six packs? That seems, that seems pretty high. High odds there. Serrated Scorpion seems like a cool card. The Shark with Arms. Cursed Imagery. <laughs> Genesis Ultimatum. Never seen that card before, ever. I don't know what that means. Genesis Ultimatum? Never heard of her. That's, uh, like, very weird looking. It looks weird in person and on the camera. It's like a squirrel, a flying squirrel that's also half fish. Nightmare Squirrel. Very accurate Nightmare Squirrel. Bosch, the Prey Piercer. Lord Dracus and Crystalline Giants. Last pack of kit number two, and the corner came off instead of the rest of the pack, just the corner. Gigantha the Wellspring is our last rare here. Ooh, we have a foil. It is just a common foil, but we have a foil Divine Arrow. Divine Arrow deals 4 damage to target attacking or blocking creature. That reminds me of one of those uh, Gideon's cards. I think it had a similar effect. Let me just set that down there. Alright, time to grab our last and final kit of the day. Kit number 3 for Scott from Alabama. Let's see what we get. Be cool if we could get like a stamped mythic or like a stamped lurus. We have a red die. Just the red one. And it looks like a black card here. It is Hunted Nightmare. Is our last stamped promo of the day. Let's grab these packs here. Yeah, that's interesting. You have two of these colors. Or not two colors, but the pack. The packs are kind of sorted here. I mean, obviously they were, they were, you know, they just get put in random. But it looks like, you know, it, it was, it was an interesting arrangement on the packs. Let's see. Well, kit number three also have one mythic in it. That would be cool. Or is our luck running out? We have Lord Dracus again and Yadaro, Wandering Monster. Ruinous Ultimatum. Cavern Whisper. Dreamtail Heron. Insatiable Hemophage. We've had three alternate arts in this pack and a Shark Typhoon. We have Obosh the Prey Piercer as our second one in our kits, I think. Getting down to the last two packs here of kit number three. Come on, kit, give us a mythic. We have a Skycat Sovereign and a Foil Thornwood Falls. Last pack. Let's see what we can get here. Come on, Mythic number three. Don't let me down. Please. Don't let Scott down. I just open it. It's his cuts. Come on. Give us something good. It is a moth. Nice. So we did get a Mythic in every single kit this time around. This is awesome. Moth is not a bad card, too. It is cool. 
Luminous brood moth. I like the art on both this and the Mothra. I like all the little tiny moths around, hanging out with his big moth. It soars through the currents of moonbeams to give hope to the Forsaken. This is some like war vet moth. Very interesting. <laughs> that is cool. We did get one mythic in every single kit. Let me do a recap of these right here. Starting with the promos, Mythos of Brokos, Genesis Ultimatum, and Haunted Nightmare. For our rares, let me just go right through them for you. Shark Typhoon, Yudaro, two Obashes, Garuda, Mori, Extinction Event, which I think is a cool card. Didn't realize it was so cheap, but I still think it's pretty cool. We have a Winota, which I feel like shows up in every single one of our pre-release kit openings. Illina, Apex of Wishes, and Luminous Brood Moth. To get one foil rare, a Ruinous Ultimatum. Cool art. Let me try and show it off a little bit better. That looks cool. Reminds me of the imagery from the uh, animated trailer. And then we did get one showcase rare, Raw Grand Triumph. I've gotten three of these today. Two ones like these and one foil. Then for our two non rare foils, we just had two common foils. We had Divine Arrow and Thornwood Falls. And that'll do it for these kit openings. I'm tempted to do like another recap of the collector booster, but that would be. Like, I already did it. Like, I just, I see the pile over there, and I'm like, I want to show it off. But we've already looked at those, this episode of uh, Alley Opens. So, I'm excited about this. These seem pretty cool hits. We did get, oddly enough, so many Genesis Ultimatums out of all these packs today for Scott H. But we did get a lot of the Showcase Triumphs, especially the Rogren Foil is awesome. I love this moth here. Did get one Mythic per kit, so that's pretty good. Not sure if we got the promos you're looking for, but I hope you enjoy them regardless. And I hope you, Scott, enjoy this opening. I know there is a Mike Michael H. and a Scott H. And I believe in the comments he said they're the same person. And I was thinking to myself last night, I was like, I can't make the joke because I've already thought about it. But like, is this like a Michael Scott joke? <laughs> but Or maybe, maybe they're brothers or something. Or perhaps it's just a middle name and that's what you choose to go by. But I hope Michael Scott... I hope you enjoy these cards. I hope you enjoyed the opening. Hope you had a fun time watching because that is the goal here. I want to make sure that you guys enjoy the videos and also get really cool hits. So I try my best to do both. I can't control the hits, but I try to at least make everything entertaining. But I think we did get some really cool stuff today. So I hope you're excited about everything. We did get that one non-foil Ghidorah, which was also super, super cool. And I'm happy that we were able to do some more kit openings. We are almost sold out in store. I think we may not have any more on our website, but as I said before, throughout the video once we do get more in stock because we do have some coming they will be updated on the website with the new quantities so that way if people want to order some more pre-release kit personal breaks we can do so and as i've said before not sure if you've watched too many videos from me before but we are attempting to do live breaks we have done a live break before but it seems like our live breaks would be for Saturday evenings around 7.45 Eastern. I don't say EST or EDT because I'm not sure which is which right now. I think it might be EDT for Eastern Daylight Time, but, you know, Eastern. You know, three hours before Pacific. So, well, after. Time zones are hard, guys. I mean, they're not, but, like, let me let me use that as an excuse. So we do have that. So if you're ever interested in having a live break, you can leave a little comment in your order, which... You know, I said link in the description down below. I'll tell you all you need to know about personal breaks, but you leave a little comment, or if there's the live option, you can choose that as well. Like, that is the only option available right now for those two boxes of Mosaic. When we open at noon, I'm sure people will be calling about it, so they may or may not be gone by the time you see this video. But just, just let you know what's out there. We have the opportunity for live breaks. So if you ever want to see me open stuff up live, that is possible. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Keep your eye on the website for things like that. But I will try to make as many announcements as I can with new product and things like live videos live breaks on the community tab so keep your eye on that as well but with that being said let me get all this cleaned up and packed up for scott h from alabama thank you so much for once again let me open up some more cool magic product for you it was really exciting and i'm happy to do it and then i will get this video ready to be uploaded which you are watching right now and i will catch you all in the next episode not sure when that will be we might be getting in some more product on friday if so you'll see me again if not We'll catch you either Saturday or Monday. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you're not subscribed yet to become a part of the Titan family, please do. It would be greatly appreciated if you would hit that subscribe button. I'm not going to be that person that says, make sure you smack that bell icon because I know I upload a lot here and you'll be getting tons of notifications. So that's up to you. I have it on my own account 
like my personal account and it's annoying <laughs> so I'm sure it's annoying for you all as well but that is there if you are interested in even more notifications about our channel but as I said before thank you so much for watching let me get all this packed up and I'll catch you next time so take care stay tuned and don't go too far because I will be back soon see you next time bye